how do bush crap in here just been on my way to uh, one of my fishing spots do a bit of late afternoon fishing and uh, on the way there, we're walking across the permission and uh, happened to spot a massive wood pigeon. So he'll be coming home for dinner tonight after I've finished my fishing. And I uh, just wanted to show you him because he is absolutely huge. And I want to do a little bit of talk about alternate ammo. I was just going to do this video as a tabletop, but now I've got a hunting, like a kill from it, then I, I thought I'd show you it like this. So, anyway, here we go. Right, I've got medium large size hands so you can see the size of him he's a lot bigger than the usual he's huge massive old head on him this is a slingshot I used very cheap one I've tried making them a send but they're just not quite as good as ones you can buy very cheap paracord wrap but the uh, ammo that I used now these are huge bolts now I'm not saying these would be better at uh, distance at far range but at close range uh, pigeon sat in a tree absolutely fantastic this is a nine and a half millimeter uh, steel ball bearing and this is the ball it's almost twice the weight of it and the size is a bit bigger i've actually fired these into collar doves and while i was dressing it i've found them again here, lodged in crop neck which i believe is best shot on a collar dove there's no flapping no but it were a woody so wood is the can take a lot of hammer <laughs> so uh, certain areas of them are really quite strong like the chest and the massive load of uh, breast meat on so they are very very strong animals uh, yeah they're very strong animals so you you can't hit them with a breast shot or I don't know if a breast shot would even kill them, maybe at close range, but a belly shot, now they're going to fly away, they're going to get away, you're never going to find them, but they probably will die, so you, you shouldn't be doing stuff like that. Something else that I would add, not to do now, but in a survival situation, if you say the pigeon is roosting like this, a little bit of blood there, <laughs> say the pigeon is roosting on your uh, branch like this, if you hit this wing joint here, the main wing joint, or this uh, secondary wing joint, uh, that will uh, quite easily break and you can easily catch the pigeon now obviously not this this won't kill the pigeon so you shouldn't be doing this unless you're in some kind of survival situation and the head of the pigeon is obscured by something else but yeah quite a, a brutal shot really it didn't do uh, much flapping afterwards so yeah he's a he's a big guy a big guy and he'll be my dinner later and I, I might even show you that Right, to half an hour. Right. This is Mr. Pigeon that we shot earlier. Rigor monster kicked in now because uh, I went fishing, but my lovely partner has made some uh, wrap filling. So we're going to have pigeon wraps. Right, we're not preparing all birds. I think we'll just... Uh, get the breast out so I'll first get some nice chunks of this in fact we'll just go carry it back so we don't want to make a mess pigeon skin's nice and thick so you can take nice big nice big handfuls still a bit warm up to I'm surprised Actually, really beautiful creatures, pigeons. My dad used to keep racing pigeons when I was a kid. And I could tell you some funny stories about that. One time, uh, there were a, there were a photo competition in um, in one of pigeon racing magazines, and my dad came second with a photo of me uh, getting trapped in one of release cages. So that's quite funny. Now, another thing that it's quite good to do uh, is to check the crop. Now the crop is Edzia and 
the crop is just before the breast. I don't know if you can see. So we'll check to see if what has been eaten. And I've got rid of all feathers. Now, if you're only eating breast, you only need to take feathers off just to top up wings and obviously all breast. But he's a big guy, and I think I'm going to be eating most of this, so one pigeon should do me fine. I always wonder people that have been shooting hundreds of them out on uh, farm fields and what they do with them, but I don't know. Right. So now, get these last few from under here. Sometimes it's easier to take wings off, especially when uh, rigor mortis has kicked in. I'll try and relax him a bit. There we go. Right. Get your knife. Pull the duck. And just find where the breastbone ends. Now it should be just about halfway down his wings. Breastbone ends. Pull a bit of his skin out. Get a nice cut. Right, so now we're into his under his skin. Get rid of the last few thing. And then you can just rip it straight off, but if you get a little cut. Give him a cut down the middle. Could have done with sharpening this now. There we go. Just tear it. See, the thing is, we're a pigeon and you're just eating breast, there's no need to go into all organs and stuff. We might get heart out to feed the dog, but we might not. So, I'm being careful not to obviously rip his guts up and out. Right, now as well we check the crop to see what he's been eating. We'll just give that a little pierce. So we can have a look in. And I can see some Sweet come on, I think. And some nuts. Just good to know in case there's been because obviously you don't if it were you were a feral pigeon and it in town centre it'd be in people sick and all sorts and you don't want that. So I'll finish removing all skin and I'll show you filleting process. Right, we've got him peeled all the way back, so take a long knife and you want to find the breastbone, the central breastbone, what's it called? Uh, not a sternum, it's not a person, uh, not a rudder, something like that, something to do with sailing. Keel! It's a keel. And you just cut along that right down until you feel it rest at breast. And then you can just follow it down. And it's still really warm, it's been quite a few hours later. And there you have one beautiful big breast. I missed a little bit of meat in there. Let's try and get that back out. And I'll see him again on the other side. I'll show you when I've done that. Now, once you've got on meat, you're going to get off him. You can, there's a few things you can do. You can either just chuck him away. You could go around and get him all that stuff off the legs. Or what we're going to do is we're going to get the heart to feed the dog. Trying to 
break his breastbone up. There we go. Now you can see, hopefully you can see that. Now he's got a huge heart. He's a big lad. I'm just going to cut that all heart out. Still quite a bit of blood in there. And that's it. I'll show you when I've cleaned up. We've now got two beautiful big breasts for me, a few scraps, and a half hot dog. Try and get that black stuff off. Right, now I'll show you cooking. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut the breast, beautiful breast, into some nice chunks. Pretty much now it's just the same as any old chicken breast. So, they a little bit smell. But a lot nicer meat and a different colour. So I'll cut that into some nice chunks. Oh, heart's running away. Just trying to score it now, not. Just putting a few nice little lines in, trying not to cut myself. You can take as much time or as little time as you want when you're doing this. Right. There we go. Right. This pan fat's nearly melted now, so we'll just get a bit of pepper. I like my pepper, so quite a bit. Sprinkle of salt. And then we'll throw them in the pan. There we go. Now I have tried the heart. It's pretty nice actually. It's just got a different texture to it. So if you want the heart, that's up to you. I feed it to the dog. And we'll just cook this now. It's a good idea not to leave blood and feathers all over, or else you will get in trouble. Right. It's coming on a bit now, can you see how it's, it's cooking on one side? I'll give it a little shake, and it shouldn't be too much longer, so I'll get my wraps ready. See if I can still find that. Yeah, that's there, dog will be getting that. Should be after that, that. and that's it, nearly done. Just cook till it's your taste, really. If you like it well done, you like it well done. If you like it bloody, you like it bloody. Alright, Mr. Pigeon's just about done. I think I'm going to feed Art at Dog now. Put my wraps in my wraps. And jobs are good. Alright, let's find that Art. There you go. Yeah. What's this? What's this? Get it. Good girl. Good girl. Is that nice? Is that nice? Oh yes it is. It's a bit dark now but that's finished product and absolutely beautiful. I've had one already. And yeah, doing a bit more. Good girl. Oh it's nice isn't it? It's nice. Alright. That's your lot. Now if your knives have got a bit of food or blood onto them. A good thing to do is, if we can do it on camera, give him a little spray of oil to our WD-40. If I can do that, you'll just have to take my word for it, but they've been sprayed with WD-40. 